Hello, this is John, and welcome back to another review, product review, unboxing, etc. on the Fat Hipster channel. As you can see, today I have the February 2021 box of the Coca-Cola Insiders Club. The Coca-Cola Insiders Club, if you don't remember from my last video, is a three-month subscription box that you can get the Coca-Cola website. Um, this one sold out, but I believe they might have another one for the second quarter of 2021 coming up next month. I'm not sure when, uh, it's opened for purchase, but in the Coca-Cola Insiders Club box, they send you at least three things to try. Uh, these are items that come out through Coca-Cola that aren't in stores yet. Um, but if you're in the Insiders Club, you get first try to taste them, see what you like about them, dislike about them. And there's also a little bit of uh, extras, some swag in the box as well. If you remember from last month, we had a, a regular Coke that was just in like a special can. There was a sugar-free Powerade and uh, a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee bottle. And that was pretty interesting. Let's see what's in the February box. By the way, I already know what's in the February box because I opened it and put these things in the fridge. Then I put them back in the box so that I could open the box on this video. Here we go. First thing is uh, you get this little piece of paper that says, Hey, Jonathan, thanks for being an insider. You're welcome, Coca-Cola. You're very welcome. It shows you the three things that are going to be in the box, and it has the code for a virtual event. This one is hosted by 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup champion, Kelly O'Hara. So, like, no, I'm not going to do it, so if anyone wants that code, go ahead and use it. Anyway, there's three things in this box that are on this, and we're just going to go in order from left to right in the box. Again, it has those cool, like, cardboard pieces that are cut out um, in a way that the bottles fit right in them. First thing we have here is vitamin water, zero sugar. So last time we had a, a zero sugar Powerade, this time we have a zero sugar vitamin water. Um, this one's called Gutsy. It is a watermelon peach flavored and other natural flavors. The reason why I call it Gutsy is because it has prebiotic fiber. Um, prebiotic is similar to probiotic uh, in that it helps you with the digestive stomach, stomach issue kind of things. But it's five, gra five grams of prebiotic fiber, 150% of antioxidant vitamin C, 100% of B vitamins, and electrolytes. One bottle has 10 calories in it. I wonder what the calories come from if it's sugar-free. There's no juice in it. Soluble corn fiber? Maybe it's that corn fiber. Weird. Give it a taste. It's very peachy. The flavor is watermelon peach, but I only really taste peach. It's not overly sweet. It doesn't have a a fake sugary flavor to it. I'm trying to see what uh, sweeteners it has in here. Stevia leaf extracts in here, and it's the very last ingredient on the list, which means there's not much in it at all. That's actually tasty. The vitamin water, zero sugar, gutsy, watermelon peach. I like the flavor to it. Um, do prebiotics fibers works for 
gut health? I don't know. Not a doctor. This video review uh, should not be used for any type of my, uh, medical advice. Next up, we have Smart Water Plus Tranquility with Ashwagandha and Tangerine Extract. This one also has 10 calories in this bottle, though this bottle is 23.7 ounces. It has water, tangerine extract, calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, which are electrolytes, ashwagandha extract, potassium bicarbonate, which is another electrolyte. So it should taste a little bit like tangerine. And uh, I looked up what ashwagandha is, and like basically, it's just like this herb that people have said it helps with different things, but all scientific evidence says that those claims aren't true and it could potentially be bad for you but I'm going to taste this anyway I think it's one of those holistic things where it's like it could help it could hurt there's really just not much science either way here we go the smart water tranquility Okay. When you first when you smell it, it has like the hint of citrusy, which is that tangerine extract. And you get a little bit of that citrusy tangerine like right when it hits your mouth. But then there's definitely like this like again, both the all this flavor is very subtle and minute. But there is like a vegetal herbaliness in here, which I can only assume is the ashwagandha uh, extract that's in here. Um, do I feel more tranquil? I don't know. I'm usually already a pretty tranquil guy, so it's hard for me to really get more tranquil. It tastes okay, I guess. It is uh, slightly citrusy, slightly herbally, mostly just tastes like water. And lastly, we have Minute Maid Super Juice. This must be what uh, Clark Kent drinks. This is the one thing on here that says it could come in three flavors. Um, strawberry kiwi fruit punch and tropical punch I got the fruit punch and this one has 40 calories per box and this is an 8 ounce so this is definitely going to be the sweetest thing in here 5% juice of lemon apple grape pineapple and mango um, there's uh, 5 grams of sugar and 5 grams of protein in here Protein is a whey protein, so it's a milk-based protein. Um, high fructose corn syrup is in here, so it's definitely going to be sweet. There's some vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, niacin, B6, B12, pantothenic acid, magnesium, and zinc. There's also sucralose in here. So it's got high fructose corn syrup, and it's got Splenda. So probably going to be pretty sweet. I not anywhere to shake it, but I'm going to give it a little shake before I open it. Definitely sm smells like that uh, Minute Maid Fruit Punch smell. Well, that should have got like a clear glass. There's definitely some floaties in here. I'm guessing that's the protein that's mixed in. Give it a taste. sweet and surprisingly a bit sour there's citric acid 
Oh, here. Citric acid in parentheses provides tartness. It is tart. Um, it really reminds me of the Minute Maid uh, fruit punch. Which, if you haven't had a Minute Maid fruit punch, then I don't know how else to explain it. It tastes like that. But there's definitely like a a protein mix kind of feel and flavor to it. It's like a you can almost feel in your teeth. A little uh I don't know. Like something that's not completely dissolved. It tastes good, it tastes sweet, with a little bit of sourness to it. Uh I don't know if this is the best way to get five grams of protein into you um, because you're taking that protein with all the high fructose corn syrup uh, but it tastes good uh, out of these three things I think the only one that I would really would uh, enjoy or ever get again is the, uh, the vitamin water the peach flavor is good it's only 10 calories it has vitamins in it um, the prebiotic fiber in there didn't really affect the taste or flavor or me enjoying it at all. And uh, I don't know if it does anything bad, so who knows. Now to open the second part of the box. The swag box where one says, but wait, there's more. I also note that on the back of this, there's a pretty good maze. And by good, I mean... It's uh, pretty difficult. I only messed up one time, but uh, it took me a decent amount of time to finish that. Let's see what's in the box. The, the box within the box. I remember last time there was uh, playing cards, a fanny pack, and some uh, little high C packs, which I've already drank. What do we have first? We have striped paper straws a 25 pack of coca-cola striped paper straws interesting um i like how they look i know plastic stra straws have been a huge issue with restaurants and stuff because of a picture that was online of a turtle that had a straw plastic straw in its mouth Personally, I think the the biggest issue with plastics in the ocean is how much plastic is used in factories and manufacturing and stuff like that. Uh, I think consumers' usage of plastic straws is probably less than a hundredth of percent of the plastic pollution in the oceans. Um, but it is a nice way to blame consumers instead of uh, factories and conglomerates that we pay all the money into and we don't want to stop them from making money but we do want to stop us from not having a drink with a straw that melts in a couple sips and that's my opinion on paper straws if you're not gonna drink your drink ultra fast really quick if you walk away from your cup with a paper straw in it you're not gonna be using that paper straw for very long well, they look cool. Then we have our Coca-Cola Insiders Club canvas bag. It's got two handles. Pretty good size. Oh, already ripped it a little bit. So, maybe not the best quality. But, if you wear your fanny pack and you walk around with this in your hand, you can tell everyone uh, it will be very jealous of your Insiders Club status. Last thing we have is two buttons. We have this uh, square Enjoy Coca Cola button. It is one of these kind of buttons. And then you have this oval oblong coca-cola bottle pin 
full one. One with a straw that's mostly empty, and one with a straw that's completely empty. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm not really one that wears buttons or puts buttons on things. Uh, I had a few buttons a while ago, but they just sat around, so I got rid of them. They're just taking up space. Maybe I'll find something to do with these two buttons. We'll see. Coca Cola buttons. I drop one. Anyway, that's it for this month of the Coca Cola Insiders box. There's no other little uh, mixes or treats in the box here. That's empty. No other hidden compartments that I know of in the box here. Uh, I think uh, so far so good. There's nothing that's been extremely interesting or or uh, I don't know great. But uh, I did get to taste these before they came out in stores. That's a cool thing. And like I said, the vitamin water is probably the only thing in here that I would necessarily drink again. Looking forward to March box. Hopefully March has something super interesting. Because so far, I haven't been overly impressed by any one item. I will probably continue with this if I can, if they offer for another month. Just because I enjoy getting things early. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel so you can see more. Especially if you're interested in next month's Coca-Cola Insider Box. They usually come around the halfway point through the month. Though this one was delayed because of the massive amounts of snow in Chicago. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye.